Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to make some fireflies. I had some emergency travel this year that landed me in this beautiful setting, and it reminded me of the fireflies at Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean. And I thought, I want to make some of these so we can have them at home. But I didn't just want lights on a stick. I wanted lights that went on and off and moved side to side and up and down just like a real firefly. So I started working out how I could make them for myself. And I'm gonna be honest, I was really happy with how my finished product turned out. So much so that I wanna teach you how you can make these. You can use them inside the house or outside if you prefer them there as well. The first thing we're going to do is build a base to basically build them on. You don't have to display them with the base, but you can if you want to. I'll be using a piece of half inch PVC pipe to build off of, and this will serve in the background but not be part of the visible display when we're done. This next step is basically like building out the arms that are underneath an umbrella. Well, at least half of an umbrella, because these wires are just going to stick out of the top of the PVC pipe to make a half circle arc to suspend our fireflies from. What I'm showing here is basically the setup using just the raw materials. You'll note, however, that these wires and the PVC pipe are gonna stand out pretty brightly in the dark. So before I finish, or actually move on to the next step, I'm going to be painting them with a flat black primer spray paint. You'll notice I actually am not really being very specific about the locations I drill the holes and put the wires to hang from. I'm just making sure that they spread out enough so that when I do hang the LEDs, which you'll see in just a little bit, that they can stay separated. This next step is the key to the magic. And you'll notice I'm not going to really show measurements for how much wire I run at each spot because I did it kind of random so that I could make sure as I hung each there was a difference of height and distance between them to make sure that it's a good balance when I'm done. The way I'm demonstrating this here is different than how I made all of the rest of them. And I'm doing it so that I can basically just show you the layout of how I get the wire where I want it to be. I'm actually going to be running the wire from the base or the post point out to the first spot where I want to hang a, uh, an LED from. I will then cut that wire and connect it to my LED before I move on to the second one. Each of the six coat hangers that I'm going to have coming out of this thing are going to have two fireflies hanging from them. So let's take a look and see how I'm gonna wire up each of those pairs. So, are you interested in making something like this, but you're not quite sure how to work with LEDs? I think I can help you out there too. I do have a series of videos about how to set up, use, and provide power for individual LED lights. If you're interested, you can find links to all of the videos I mentioned today in the description below.
The tutorial I made for managing power with LEDs is perfect for this next step in the process where you have to decide how much resistance you should put between the LEDs and your power source. There are ways to connect your power source without using resistors, but I really do like doing it to protect my lights. I just reached into my junk drawer, grabbed an old 5 volt phone charger, and then I mapped everything out on a breadboard so that I could test it first. You definitely don't have to do something like this, but I did it so that I could also show you, with each of these pairs as I complete them, that they light up if I connect them to the already created breadboard. And for yet one more shameless plug, I've got a video on that if you'd like to. Feel free to check out how to use a breadboard, also linked in the description below. If you haven't thought it already, you are now. And that is, well, they just shine straight down at the floor. What good is that? We're going to fix that in just a moment. But first, I need to hurry through the other five pairs of lights that I want to make so that I have a full set of fireflies. Well, okay then. It's time to get these little bugs ready for flight. And that involves the use of some simple EVA craft foam. Essentially what we want to do here at this point is make a combination wing and shield. The shield's going to serve a couple of purposes. One, it will only make the light visible from the front. And two, it's going to create a case that will help protect our LED and our wiring. You'll notice I took a little piece of a paper clip that I cut off and I'm putting it between the wires and the EVA foam. We're going to secure this in place because it's going to help us in just a moment when we want to adjust the shape of the wing. This really doesn't take a lot of hot glue. You just need enough so that you can seal the edges. You do want to make sure to put just enough over that wire though, so that little piece of paper clip, so it doesn't slip sideways in a moment when you're trying to bend it. By giving our shield slash wing a, a little bit of a shape or a curve to it, it actually will allow it to catch some breeze and twist and turn and bounce and give it a look as though it's actually flying and fluttering around. This is exactly what we want so that it will look a little bit more natural. Okay, the home stretch. The only thing we have left to do is connect everything to power and then set up our display wherever we want to show it off. Unfortunately, when I first finished this project, the weather service reported incredibly high winds coming and I couldn't put it straight outside. So I tried it out in the garage first. Turns out this was a huge hit. Everybody in the family loved it, and I've been having fun showing it to anybody who'll stop by and take a look. For comparison, let's take a look at it inside against a dark backdrop. Even though there's light in the room, some of the wires start to disappear against the dark backdrop, and everything else begins to disappear as it gets darker too. Notice at the top, the hangers that we used are bouncing. That adds a little bit extra to the natural look of the flight. I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to fly on in and spend a little bit of time with me while I flutter around with these fun fireflies. But before you go, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click that thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you'll get notifications for future videos. Please do feel free to check out playlists for other things you might like, including any of those tutorial videos from earlier in the video. And as always, please do remember to come on by again because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.